So this Western's been fitted with um, batteries and the Fosworks receiver. Um, you see it's plugged in just a four pin connector here. Plus and minus volts to power the receiver up. And then uh, the other wires that come back are just the DCC data to go back into the board. The board's got a Zemo sound decoder plugged into it. Um, there are four, four sockets for four battery packs in there. Um, there's three sockets for speakers. Uh, at each end there's a iPhone tweet speaker. Um, squirting sound down down through the hole in the chassis there. There's one on the other end. And then the third speaker is um, a big bass speaker in the tank. On this side is a um, reed switch, magnetic reed switch. I need to break those wires longer with really, it so I can have the, have the reed further up near the roof. But this, this operates the uh, this turns uh, the logo on and off. Right, so 12 functions um, at the end of these buttons here. One, two, three, and then you hold down a shift button, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you hold down both of these for a 10, 11, 12. Uh, connect to three different receivers. Um, obviously you can bind as many receivers as you like, but this way it enables you to switch between three different channels uh, with a receiver on each one. Um, uh, the By default, the only uh, latching function is function one. Once that's on, you want it to stay on. So, so I've broken a few um, momentary functions, like some of the horns, function four, and so on. Uh, possibly nine. There we go. And then the last one needs eleven. Fans are on F12. That would have to be a latching function. 